So Anatoly, at this point, we're up to game nine in the match. You had a three game lead and you're playing the white pieces, but you still haven't really put this Grunfeld defense out of commission yet. Uh, yes, I was successful to fight against Grunfeld uh, in my matches with Kasparov, but uh, with Kamsky, it was another story and uh, I had to, to win at least one game with Grunfeld defense. So G6, Knight C3, D5, Knight to F3, Bishop G7, and then Queen B3. So this is one of, one of the most aggressive lines against Grunfeld defense. So D takes C4, Queen takes C4, Castle, E4, A6. Yeah, this is the uh, Prim system, I believe, and uh, a lot of the Hungarian players, Portish, Adorian, Ribley, you know, they had many battles with this. And uh, Gata seemed to have come to the match deciding that this was his weapon of choice. Yes, uh, a6, this is, uh, this is a very sharp line, and uh, we played already one game in uh, that match in Elista uh, with Skamski. Uh, even even I, I had some advantage, but I couldn't win the game. So e5, b5, queen to b3, and then knight to d7. Well, in the first game you're talking about, I believe you played e6 and a very short, short, sharp game that ended in a draw. Yes, and now I decided to play bishop to e3. And then black replied c5. Well, this also shows how Gatto was prepared, because the main line of theory is, is knight to, uh, to b6. Yes, and then rook to d1, mm -hmm. then bishop e6, queen c2. Uh, but c5... This was played also, c5, e6, c4, pawn takes f7 check, rook takes f7. And then queen goes to d1. To d1, yes. Uh, okay. To d1, then uh, knight b6. And now Portish against Ribley played uh, a4 in this position. But uh, you made the knight leap immediately with knight e5, attacking the rook. And of course, after bishop takes and pawn takes, you have two bishops, uh, queens are vis-a-vis, -vis, you have this bishop open. So really, he pretty much has to move his rook. Yes, no, it's even not possible to, to take on e5, I think. Uh, so rook, rook f8, and then a4, b4. And so knight e4 was also possible, but uh, but I decided to play fourth line, a5. So no choice. Black, if if black. he moves the knight, you simply play bishop takes pawn check, winning position, right? And yes. So, so pawn, ta pawn takes knight, pawn takes knight on b6, pawn takes pawn on b2, bishop takes c4 check, king h8, rook to b1, queen to b6, queen d2. Uh, queen d2, this is, this is actually one of my favorite moments of the match because after the game that evening, we were, uh, remember we were walking with your good friend Oleg Ladachinko, who is uh, chief of our delegation, right? And he was saying, Anatoly, you spent 20 minutes, 25 minutes to play queen d2. The chauffeur, he saw this move in one minute. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, yes. And then I explained to, to Oleg, who is uh, not playing so well chess, and uh, I, I told him that, of course, this move uh, many players would see in, uh, in seconds. Well, it's important to get the spawn back on b2 before yes. it becomes dangerous. Yes, but, but the most important thing, to see not only the first move in d2, but also to, to see many moves after, which most of uh, uh, not strong chess players would not see. Well, in fact, Gata immediately tries to uh, play knight d7 and starts to try to uh, create some problems for you. And if you don't create something, he does have a very nice outside past a pawn in the long term. No, but more, mostly what black uh, wants, uh, they want to eliminate this very dangerous knight on e5 just to have counterplay 
uh, on this pawn on d4 and also passed pawn uh, if uh, if white has no something quick uh, then this passed pawn can become dangerous so knight d7 but then rook takes b2 Kamsky discovered that if he plays uh, queen c7, then knight f7 check, king uh, goes to g8, and then rook c2. Very unpleasant. Very unpleasant. So there is uh, one threat on the c file, there is another threat on the diagonal. Also, now you threaten knight check and knight to here, forking everything. Dis yes, discovery check is very dangerous. And then if black would play with the knight on e5, king on e8, uh, queen f6, for instance, then simply f2 to f4, white has time to make castle, just to move king out of uh, center, and uh, black bishop on g7 is uh, out of play, so then it would be very dangerous, very dangerous, and uh, probably when Kamsky played knight d7, he had in mind this queen sacrifice. Knight takes e5, rook takes b6, so everything by force. Uh, knight takes c4, queen b4 only move, knight takes b6, queen takes b6, a5. And so probably what Gato is counting on, even though he only has one rook and one bishop, but he does have a very dangerous looking outside pass pawn. Uh, yes, and uh, so white must be careful with this pawn, and uh, st still uh, we need one tempo to, to bring king out of center, castle, a4, and then rook a1. So just to stop this pawn. And very important that white queen on b6 controls uh, square e6. Well, otherwise, if he could play like bishop to here to b3, then probably, be... probably black would be better at certain moments. But they cannot play this, so they cannot play a3 because uh, after this, uh, white would play queen b3, and if bishop f5, then we don't take immediately on a3, because if you take with the rook on a3, then rook a to b8 and rook b1 check. Very yeah. unpleasant. Mm -hmm. But what we do after this move, we play h3. Now here we, we can play h3. And then if this rook moves here, then queen takes pawn. If another rook comes to b8, then rook takes a3, rook takes b3, Rook takes a8 check, and after bishop f8, bishop h6, threatening mate. And so there is no defense. That's why a3 is not possible, and uh, so black played bishop to f5. And then uh, I, I was thinking what to do, to play h4 or to play h3. H3 having him in mind just to play G4 and to kick out bishop from F5. H4 means uh, to have uh, chances to attack black king. And so at the end I decided to play H4. Now, then black played E6. Well, E6 at the time looked reasonable because you figured, okay, he wanted to get his bishop here where everything is protected. But uh, for one thing, it's not so easy for him to move the bishop without losing the pawn. And then secondly, it weakens some key squares, uh, like d6, f6, and as you pointed out also, it weakens him on the second rank. Uh, yeah, that's right. But, uh, but the problem was that uh, Kamsky didn't want to play rook b8 because of rook takes a4. And the same motif that we saw before. Yeah, the same motif what we saw before. Uh, and so he, he, he thought that uh, this pawn should be protected. And if he plays bishop f6 now, for instance, then bishop goes to g5. He didn't want to exchange black color bishops. So that's why he made move which seemed to be uh, useful, but uh, it gives very important temp for bishop f4. He uh, now gains a tempo on your bishop here. 
But also it's important to note, once you put your bishop here, it controls the square, and then he can never get his rook there. Uh, yes. Bishop e4, then very important move, bishop d6. So now we stop this pawn forever. And then uh, black played rook f to c8. And then what is very important again, we attack this pawn immediately, queen b5. Well, he only really has one way to defend it. And of course, if that pawn falls, he doesn't have much of a position. No, what is very important that black bishop cannot take on d4 because bishop e5 check. And then if bishop takes, queen takes e5. And, and queen e4. takes e4. Mm -hmm. We want to do, we want to play bishop e5 and exchange this black color bishops. So that's why black plays bishop to c6. Queen b4, king g8, and then rook a3. So little by little, you've actually accomplished a great deal over the last several moves. You've firmly blockaded his pawn with your rook, your queen, and your bishop. Yes. And you've brought the rook so that it functions laterally, and you've created luft, and you've thrown another pawn possibly into the attack. Yes, so now h5 is a very unpleasant threat. And uh, so black, black had to do something, and uh, in time trouble, uh, Kamsky decided to, act, uh, to make rook actives, and he played rook a6. Well, apparently he wanted to play this rook over, and this bishop to here, and then get this bishop to b3. I, I guess this apparently was his idea. Yeah, that's right. But after rook a6, this is like, uh, like mystery. Queen c4, and look, one queen attacks the whole board. So all black pieces are in uh, trouble now. Rook a6, rook c8 because queen takes e6 check threatening, and then uh, bishop is attacked even he, bishop is protected with two rooks, but still bishop cannot move because of the pin. And then king on g8 is also uh, under, under the action of white queen. So this is fantastic geometry. One queen, as you were saying, attacks one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Six pieces, yes. Uh, and then black had no defense. So in the game, Gata went ahead and continued with his plan, but the main difference, of course, is that he lost his e6 pawn check in the process. Uh, yes. And then he played king h8, bishop e5, Bishop takes, queen takes e5, check king g8, h5. Another unpleasant story. Well, we can already see if he captures, then rook g3 check, and it's simply mating a few. Yes. Uh, so then uh, uh, bishop e8, h6, threatening mate, rook a6 to a7. And here, here I just forgot, uh, I just forgot in time trouble that after rook f3, the main threat is queen, h8 check, and rook f8 mate. And of course after rook f3, black had no defense, because if rook goes to f7, rook takes f7, king takes f7, otherwise queen g7 mate, then queen d5 check, and queen takes rook. So rook f3 was winning immediately, but I played d5. Well, this is certainly not bad. The pawn advances. Yes, it's, it's also winning. Uh, so black played the rook to, to b7. Uh, I played d6, rook d8, and so... Well, now you made the time control, and you had time to think about everything. And now mm -hmm. you played very strong rook f3 with the same idea. And... Uh, and black resigned because uh, there is no defense. If bishop goes to c6, then queen e6 check, king h8, queen f6 check, queen takes d8 mate. And, and if he plays the rook over, and then you simply take... No, I queen mean, e7 if, if, first check. If bishop takes, this is mate. And if king takes, then queen, queen check, seven. king over, and, and queen, queen g7, g7 mate. mate. And so this must have been very, very satisfying to finally uh, 
put a punch in on this Grunfeld defense. Uh, yes, so this is this is a whole piece. The whole game is a whole piece.